Hey everybody, it's Missy again, and I am so excited to be bringing you another layout for the Hip Kit Club because this is my first layout using the 2016 March kits, and they are so gorgeous. I cannot even begin. Uh, I'm going to use one of these two pictures of my daughter um, just looking cute one day, and I've already got some cut files going here. I'm using some of Ashley Horton's floral cut file. I've um, traced the whole thing and then I separated some of the flowers and I've got my cutting mat half white cardstock and half with this absolutely stunning multicolored hip kit exclusive pattern paper. I am in love with this paper. Um, I had to stare at it for a while. I had to sniff it and show it lots of love before I could cut into it because it's so pretty and I finally just said okay just use it just use it and I went for it before I could hoard it forever. Um, so I cut some of these flowers on this really pretty paper, and then I cut the same things on the white cardstock, mainly because I wanted the leaves. I'm gonna use the leaves from the white cardstock, and I'm gonna cut them off, and I'm gonna use the shimmers products that are included in the color kit to paint the leaves green, and then I'm gonna attach them to the multicolored flowers, if that makes any sense. So I took some time and scraped everything off the mat, and now I have my flowers here. And I'm gonna use the white flowers for something else, but uh, I mainly wanted the leaves. And I didn't wanna take the time to separate all the leaves from the flowers and the silhouette, so I just said, I'll just cut a bunch of them and cut and paste. So these are some of the new aqua hues, and these are from Shimmers, and they're just flat watercolor. There's no shimmer or sparkle, and these are just flat color. So I'm gonna use my water brush here. Now there's a couple of different ways you can use this. You can squirt or spray more water in there and let it sit for a while, and the paint's gonna thicken up, or you can start right away, like I'm doing here with your water brush, and just get a little bit of water in there, and then you're going to get a little bit of color and you can start right away. It just depends on if you want a darker color or a thicker consistency of the paint. So I'm just doing a really quick color job here. I'm painting the leaves and um, this is a really pretty spring color. It's perfect for leaves and it matches the greens in uh, some of the papers and the kits perfectly. And we get three of the aqua hues this month. I'm going to come in with this darker color. Um, I've already forgotten the name of it. It's a very dark grayish blue and I'm just going to add a little bit of hints to my leaves just to give it a couple of uh, different tones and shades here. The blue color is called Blue Moon. I have it in front of me and it's a really bluish gray color and it, it went nicely with my leaves here and kind of gave them a little bit of a you know, some shadowing effects. So this is how I'm gonna do this. I'm just gonna cut the leaves off of the color flowers and I'm gonna cut the leaves off the white flowers and I'm just gonna go old school here and glue them on. Um, I don't know, I just wanted green leaves so that's why I did that. And this cut file is really, really pretty. You could use the entire thing as a background. But I, like I said, I just kind of separated some of the flowers and um, cut them out by themselves. So I'm trying to decide what I'm going to do now um, after I attach all the leaves. I'm going to use, I printed out two black and white pictures, but I'm only going to wind up using one for this layout. And I'm just using some of the white cardstock from, uh, this month it's the My Mind's Eye cardstock, or the white one, the white cardstock uh, is anyway, it's from the uh, My Colors cardstock. So I picked out several things that I think I want to use. Everything is just so pretty. Look at the colors. I love that Project Life card. Oh my gosh. I, I wound up not using it, but I was so in love with it. I just, just had to stare at it for a while. Um, the Project Life cards are just exclusive every month, and they are so pretty. I uh, love using them on layouts. Um, I don't, I've never done Project Life, and so I, um, you know, I use these on my layouts. And I love that one on the right with the watercolor heart. So pretty. So I'm going to use some tissue paper. And this is just from my stash. Although there was some really pretty light blue tissue paper in the kits this month. And I really want to incorporate that on one of my layouts at least this month. So don't throw away your packaging because it has a use. So now I'm just going to work on 
you know, kind of playing around with all of these pieces that I've picked out. I have to use that heart. Um, the color of it is just perfect. It's just this really pretty turquoise color. And it looks a little lighter on film than it does in person. But if you got the Project Life card or Project Life kit, then you know because you have it. So I've, uh, I've picked out some uh, Pink Fresh Studio pieces a couple of basic gray pieces and I'm just kind of playing around and seeing what works. I love that that uh, pattern paper in the background has so many colors in it you really can't go wrong here with all of these different color uh, embellishments. And there's more of the Project Life cards. Oh man I just want to put everything on one paper. It's so hard to narrow down what to use first because everything, it's just like Christmas morning. You open everything up and you're just like, ooh, ah, oh my gosh, what? And then you have to say, okay, pick and choose because you can make as many layouts as you want. Do not put it all on one page, right? I know you deal with the same scrapbooking struggles, right? Anyway, um, that little bird on the left, that's from Pink Fresh Studio. That little pink flower on the right is from the Basic Gray Ephemera Pack. And uh, I'm just going to kind of stick everything down so I can move this whole design around because I'm going to get it just like I like it and then I'm going to be able to, you know, kind of shuffle it around the page because I'm going to do some mixed media stuff on the background. But I didn't want to have to like put all of this together each time I moved it around. So. I'm going to go ahead and get it situated. And there's um, a couple of other different cut files. Um, just like each month, uh, Nicole has a cut file. Kim Watson has a cut file. Um, and this one is from Ashley's. So this is one of the Pink Fresh Studio papers, and I really liked this yellow strip. And I was going to kind of fussy cut those triangles on the bottom, so the strip was kind of jagged. But I thought that would take me forever, so I just cut it straight. And I want to use it behind my cluster here, like this. Um, I wanted to add a couple more pops of yellow, so that's what I'm doing here. And I'm going to center everything in the middle there um, with my picture being in the dead center. And before I attach that little bird, I'm going to add some pink thread underneath it and uh, add some pop dots or a pop dot. Decisions, decisions. Okay, so now it's time to jazz up the background and I'm going to add some white gesso. And I know I say this a lot, but just in case you've never watched any of my videos, I use the white gesso to thicken up the uh, the surface. It helps make the cardstock stronger, and it also helps whiten out some pattern and color. So it's going to help your uh, your mixed media, your paint, your spray, your gelato, whatever it is you're using. It makes it spread and blend a little bit better to me, I think, and um, it protects the background paper. So this is the Crazy Daisy color. It's the uh, third aqua hues that we get in the color kit this month. And I'm just using the old tried and trusty packaging technique here. And you can apply this directly to your paper. You don't have to use the packaging technique. It's just one of my all-time favorites and one of my go-to techniques. Always works. It never disappoints. And it gives you a different look than using the brush. And I just wanted a little bit of yellow kind of peeking through all of those leaves and flowers on the background like so. I just think it brightens everything up. So you want to make sure you clean your little water brush off before you switch colors. Um, now this does not come in the kit. This is from my stash. It's another Shimmers product though. It's a Vibes and it's called Jenny B. Blue. It's a really pretty turquoise. It's one of my favorite Vibes colors. 
Um, and I'm just going to add a little bit of uh, splattering here and there because there are blue aqua-ish elements in the kit. So I'm going to add a little bit more yellow to the left side. And yeah, I did some stitching. Um, I used some pink thread and some royal blue thread. And over there on the left, my pink thread kept getting stuck in the machine. So um, yeah, I finally had to pull it off and just make do with what I had because it got stuck like 20 times. And I was about ready to throw my sewing machine through the window, but I didn't. That Remember This is from one of the Project Life cards. And now I'm just going to get those flowers on the ends glued down because they uh, did curl up a little bit when I added the water to them to color them. And now I'm going to play with these Pink Fresh Studio washi tape strips. These are really, really cool. I love the phrases and all of the, uh, the quotes on these are just very unique, very different. A lot of springtime elements, but also a lot of things that you can use on on for any theme of a page. So I'm just kind of looking around and seeing what I can put where. And these are also Pink Fresh Studio, little puffy stickers. And then little sentiment stickers that have watercolor already on them. They look so cool. So I'm just going to place a couple over there on the left. And one on the right. And that little piece is from the basic gray ephemera pack. And so is the blue flower at the bottom. The buttons are from Basic Gray, and the wood veneer is, I believe, Ellie's Studio. I'm going to add a little bit more thread over on the left, just for a little more texture. And you can see it better in person. It does add a little pop of yellow. And then at this point, I was thinking, what's my title going to be and where am I going to put it? I'm going to wind up fussy cutting the word carefree out of that card right there because I, um, you know, the layout itself is kind of busy and I didn't want to have a giant title going anywhere. So I kind of just decided to fussy cut this and kind of put it at the bottom of the picture. And I haven't made a layout with this much green in a long time. And I absolutely love how it turned out. Um, once I had those flowers cut, it just sort of took on a life of its own. And it kind of just scrapped itself, if that makes any sense. Sometimes a layout can make you struggle and takes you forever to figure out the design you want. Nothing works. It's just very frustrating. And then sometimes the very first thing you try is the perfect thing and just flows. And that's how this layout went. And um, absolutely love it. And I cannot wait to make another layout using these kits because they are amazing. I know I say that every month, but they really are. So it's going to be finished up soon. I did add my journaling, the date stamp, and some black color shine, but that's it. Um, there's the final layout. I absolutely love the colors. I'm just swooning over the colors. Uh, let me know if you had any questions. Uh, this was really, really fun to make. Make sure you check out hipkitclub.net. The April kits were just revealed, and they are amazing as well. So thank you for watching, and I hope you have a great day, and I'll see you next time.